Whoa, that truck came in so fast. I wonder what's going on. Let's go talk to those kids. Hi kids, what's going on here? What's that terrible smell? It's all this garbage that's laying here. Hi, I'm the garbage man. These kids left all this garbage sitting out here. Kids, why would you do that? Well, we were making crafts in my house. And we had so much garbage. And we had nowhere to put it and didn't want it, so we brought it out here. So that's how it got out here. Wow, kids. You can't leave garbage outside. Yeah, it's called littering, and it's very, very bad. What do you mean? I always see garbage bags on the street. That's only on garbage day. That's when I'm supposed to come around and pick it up. Sounds like we need to teach these kids about proper garbage disposal. First things first, littering is when you leave garbage around outside where it's not supposed to be. Littering is bad. Can you think of some reasons why? Well, I guess it makes the community smelly since garbage is smelly. Yes, that's right. When garbage sits, it starts to rot and is really stinky. I don't want my community to stink. Can anyone else think of anything? Garbage is a nice to look at, so it takes away the beauty of the community. That's right. Garbage is an eyesore. It's dirty and messy. It takes away from the community. I definitely wouldn't want to stare at garbage all the time. All right, what else can we think of? If someone throws glass on the ground, it could break and really hurt someone. That's right. Glass is a big problem. It can be hard to see and people can step on it and hurt themselves. Ouch. Okay, kids, can you think of one more? Uh, I guess if someone litters and someone else sees it, they'll think it's okay for them to do it too. That's right. And then we'll be left with more litter. These are all good points, kids but there are still some other really important factors. Litter has the largest impact on the environment. I have some animal friends that will help explain. Hi kids, we're the birds and we feel a large impact from your litter. We fly high in the sky looking for food. Sometimes, because we're up so high, we can't see that well. And sometimes we think litter on the ground is food. Now, can you imagine eating garbage? What do you think would happen? I'm guessing you would feel pretty sick. That's right. Eating garbage makes us really sick because our stomachs can't digest it. And it's not just birds that are affected by litter. Litter also ends up in the oceans. Oh no, so fish end up eating litter too? Yes, fish, whales, dolphins, seals, you name it. Oh no, I didn't know all these animals were affected by litter. That's right, kids. Thank you, birds, for that important lesson. Anytime. We want the world to be a better place. Do you kids understand now why littering is so bad? Yes, and we'll never litter again. Can we do anything to help? Yes, as a garbage man, it's helpful to me if you separate your waste, recycling, and compost. This way, everyone's garbage can be disposed of in the right way. How do you know which is which? Recycling is things like glass bottles, plastic bottles, cans, cardboard, or paper. Compost is food waste, things like food scraps or leftovers. And waste is anything that doesn't fall into the recycling or compost categories. That's not so hard. No, we can definitely do that. Friends! I have an idea. Why don't we go around the community and pick up litter? That's a great idea. I have some extra bags in my truck that you can use to put them in. Thanks so much. Thanks, kids. If everyone helps a little bit, it will make a big difference. Thanks for teaching them. I'll clean up the garbage now, too. Anytime. Our pleasure. Well, Superman, it looks like our work here is done. Great job, Superwoman. Now let's go.